Right, I come up to this farm this evening. Uh, so we can shoot a few rats. I've already had a walk round. I'll show you anyway the sort of the hot spots really. Yeah, there's lots of banks around these buildings. Uh, there's a lot of rats dug in along the bank around the back of there. They've got the combine there, which has obviously spilt some wheat out onto the ground. And it's got bits of it hanging around and underneath the machine as well. And the rats are coming out of, of the banks, getting underneath the machine, and trying to get all the wheat that's still stuck up in there. And obviously the last thing you want is them getting in there and amongst all the wires and pipes and things causing any damage. And also they've got all the storage as well, where they keep all the wheat and barley, which are drying off. So obviously they want to dawn them getting in there and contaminating the, obviously the wheat and everything. So, you know, obviously the gun I've got today is my Wyrock HW100 and 177. Yeah, so we'll be using this tonight. Uh, I've got a night sight to put on there as well. What I'll do later on when we get sort of set up a bit better, I'll show you a bit, bit more of a close-up of the uh, night sight as well. And also I've got my lamps as well I can put on top if I really want to, but so using the night sight on the back, you don't really need a lamp anymore. So we'll see, they can't see you, you know. Plus we're shooting quite close range, you know, from 10 yards out of 30 maximum of that. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. There's plenty of evidence rats in that area there. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'll a little walk around and just show you the areas we're going to be shooting in. Yeah, so it should be pretty good. Yeah, look forward to it. Last time I came up here, I shot quite a few rats. Some real big ones as well, so there's plenty here. I think we're going to have a busy night here. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, what's it now? It's about, just about half five, something like that. So another good hour, and it's going to be start getting dark, so we might be able to get a few coming out here already, just before it gets dark. Because the guys have wrapped up now, they've got all the machines turned off now, so as soon as it quiets down, I'm pretty sure the rats will be out having a forage around, see what food they can find. So we might get some actual shooting in the next hour, I reckon, just over there. Right, okay then, right, okay. Well, I'll, I'll get the other camera out. I'll just have a quick scan round and I'll show you sort of some of the hot spots. Right, okay, I'll look forward to this. One's gonna be good, I think. Right, okay. Right. Yeah, this is a combine. And I'll be a cheeky rat out already, I don't know, not in my Yeah, I'll see. You can look up in there. The last thing you want is any rats getting in there and start chewing any of that lot around. So, not good. It's going to be a bit expensive, isn't it? And obviously when they're harvesting, you know, a lot of bits of grain and that get caught in the machinery and that falls out. Of course the rats have been getting up underneath. There's all the bits of grain and that have got jammed in amongst them in the machine. Yeah, so the farmer tells me there's quite a lot in there. When he pulls in there in the night time, put the machines away, they all come running out. Yeah, what they're doing, I'll show you a minute. They're coming out from underneath there. I'll show you around the back of there some bits of metal and that where they're living. And obviously they come underneath here, in here, sort of getting up into the machine and that, looking for bits of wheat and barley, what's ever been left after the harvest, really. Yeah, so it should be pretty good in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stand back out there somewhere and uh, see if we can shoot a few, shoot through down here into this area. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get a few. Well, I'll take you around the corner, you can have a look, see where they're all living. A few feral pigeons here as well, there's quite a lot of them here, but I didn't, I'm not really up it for them tonight. I think the farmers more, just want to be able to try and thin out the rat population more than the pigeons at the moment. Yeah, let's have a look, walk around here. Yeah, that's where all the living, and amongst all these old metal girders here for all, the old barn that was here. Yeah, plenty of signs of rats around here. You know, there's like there's runs, holes. Yeah, living in amongst living in amongst all this sort of gear here. You can see the runs across here, into there, and also they go into the barn there where the um the combine is. Looks like they're living underneath that old bit door there as well, by the looks of it. So yeah, this is like it's going to be quite a busy little area where they're all dug in underneath all this. Like, you see all the runs coming out. So. Be another good place to stand up there as well, I reckon, shooting down towards this area. We might get a few. Yeah, all in amongst all there. You can see all the runs and everything in amongst all this grass. Yeah, should be good, I reckon. I look forward to it. Yeah, but no, there's only even underneath this bit of tin. Yeah, I bet a few get under there hiding out later on. <laughs> yeah, should be good. Another hot spot is up there behind that container as well. There's a lot of rat runs along that bank. 
because obviously rats live in the banks anyway so it's a natural environment for them so I live in the banks and obviously they travel out to look for the food source yeah so it should be good I reckon yeah it's a nice farm this is I think it's about nearly 800 acres of ground here yeah we used to have a pheasant shoot here at one time but um, unfortunately we don't shoot here anymore they don't have any game shooting here now so but a nice bit of wood there all that bank up there we used to have a lot of game cover up there we had a nice drive there yeah so probably be up here again maybe shoot a few rabbits and nice blocks of wood here as well a few squirrels so but i'll see need to get on the uh, good side of the farmer and spin out his rat population first so that's our main job for this evening probably the next few months as well now the winter's coming yeah so that's going to be one of the main hot spots i reckon so i reckon we get back out here somewhere i mean from here to that the end of that barn blimey it's not even we're about 20 yards of that so it's ideal for aero gun shooting really and another hot spots over there where that jcb telly handler is there's another handy place to go and shoot some rats but they're all the way around the perimeter of these buildings obviously in these big buildings there's all their their wheat the drying drying areas they're pretty well rodent proof you know nothing get underneath the door so but so I just keep the rats at bay outside stop them doing any damage to those thousands of pounds worth of equipment sitting there you know that's thing you want is a rat getting in and causing all that damage yeah so yeah it should be good right okay then so back to the land rover see i've got me gun there which is a, i shot a few rats and it's time that gun yes yeah, so it should be good right okay guys let's get the um, gun loaded up and uh I reckon we might get a few early ones coming out in a minute, which should be good. Right, okay then. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> okay, catch you in a bit. Right. There's a few rats moving about already. Where that combine is. I can see them running along the back of the building. So, so hopefully, might get a few just where it gets dark as well. That'd be good. So you've got about another hour. 40 minutes, hour maybe, something like that, before it gets dark. So obviously the, the uh, farmer's gone now. So everything's starting to settle down, it's quiet. I've already seen a couple of rats scuttling along the back there, so I've got myself all set up here now. I'm set up on this old bucket here. It's got a nice got a nice shot straight down, it's perfect really. Yeah, good. So, uh, looking promising. Hopefully we'll get a few shots early on. Nice one. I thought I'd just give you a quick showing of the uh, night site. That's the uh, actual night site itself. Which goes into that adapter. Uh, which way around this? I think it's that way, I think. And that goes into your scope. And that's a power pack for that. And you've got a wire that comes out, feeds into this here as the actual screen itself. Uh, so later on, hopefully, I'll be able to show you that in action. So uh, yeah, I'm not how sure how we're going to get on filming wise. I've never have, never done it before. <laughs> so obviously that's where you, yeah, the image from this unit here goes up through the wire and actually comes out this like a TV screen, as you can see. So the image of this cross here is to be on there looking through the scope. So hopefully, I can't see why not. I've got the uh, bipod set up with the other camera looking in there. Hopefully we should be able to get some footage of the rats being shot. So that should be good. Yeah, we'll give that a go and just uh, see how we get on. So hopefully that'll work. Right, good. Okay then, hopefully we'll get some footage of rats being shot. <laughs> okay, yeah. catch you in a bit. Right, just a quick update guys. Yeah, it's been pretty slow really. Uh, shot three up to now. Um, a 
few sort of running about but they seem to be in amongst all the machinery and that all the time it's quite difficult to get a shot at them so I've shot one down the track I shot two by the combine at the moment but as I say you can hear them running around in amongst it all but it's really hard to get a shot at them so I think next time I'll come I'm going to have to bring some sort of an attractor down maybe some cat food or something like that put out for them just to draw them out a bit more just so I'll get a clean shot at them but it's so frustrating you can see them working away through the machinery but you just can't get some get a clean shot at them so that's rat tune for you so but anyway it's the first time I've been there for a while so it's just trying to suss out where they are and what they're what they're up to really what their main runs are and that but that's right we've got another couple of hours to go yet anyway so hopefully you might be able to bag a few more but yeah well I'll just give a quick update and let you know what's happening right okay let's get back to it so we can get a few more before we go home okay see you in a bit guys managed to get five in the end so that's the two I've just picked up just to show you that's all really yeah so not too bad yeah, there's a few move, moving around in a bit I couldn't get a shot at them there's just so much machinery in there you can hear them running around in amongst all the machinery but that's right no, it's not a bad evening must be out shooting a few rats again so what I'm going to do next time I come I'm going to bring some sort of a tractor out maybe some cat food or, or something like that just to put in there just to try and draw them out a little bit so we can get some a few more shots but yeah no nice one so uh i just couldn't film it guys i haven't got any night sort of cameras ready to be able to film anything at the moment but that'd be nice to get something like that but well there we go there's a couple of dead rats to show you anyway so but yeah definitely be back again we'll give it another go see if we can get a few more right okay then guys catch you on the next one bye for now